What'd you say, boy? <laughs> Little Timmy stuck in the well? <laughs> he can't get some top? <laughs> it's cause girls say he's too fat? Dang. All right, guys. We, you know, we gotta help little Timmy out today, right? We gotta get him straight. We gotta, gotta get, put him on game, right? So basically, he wants to start cutting, right? So how do we start cutting, guys? All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all the little tips right here, little secrets, right? The number one and one of the best ways as that that's cutting has worked for for me because i'll show you on my before and my after pics right here right i used to be that skinny fat and i got lean I, I got some girls on me right now right the first thing is intermittent fasting right so you can you guys can look it up right intermittent fasting is choosing when to eat your meals and when to not eat your meals so the thing that worked for me is there's a eight eight hour time window right so that in those eight hours i find out how many calories i need and all my proteins my carbs and my fats i need for the day i eat it all in that eight hour window and for 16 hours for the whole rest of the day i would not eat all i would have is either water tea or coffee because i also cut out sugars that's the next step too hold on now hold on we're still on step one and the best way to do this right because intermittent fasting i'm telling y'all it's gonna get y'all straight the best again the best time for, frame is eight hours to 16 hours so eight hours of you can eat whatever you want 16 hours you're not eating some people do 12 i mean 24 hours where they won't eat for a day and they'll eat for another day i also tried that it fucking sucks and some people have done it three days after three days i think kind of pushing the crazy on that right because we don't need to be starving ourselves like that right i kind of like food i'm not gonna lie i know y'all like i know y'all like food here that's kind of why you're on the video okay don't i'm not trying to call you out or anything right and the next step right cutting out all sugars you can possibly none of these not 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 that much cereal right because we want to minimize our sugar or cut it out completely because it really helps with cutting weight um, and it keeps your cravings down and shit i'm telling y'all this bro because it's actually what worked for me the only drinks you really want is water coffee or tea or whenever you're in your eight hour time time frame of eating you can drink what you want but other than that water coffee or tea bro don't make it too complicated and just keep it sim i'm just keeping it as simple as possible to get you to your goal because when i did intermittent fasting and all the steps i told y'all i lost seven pounds in a week i look i used to look like a skinny fat dude that who got no fucking bitches to i got my abs straight i got a little muscle here i'm kind of packing right and i was looking good and i was able to like have confidence whenever i looked into the mirror and that really motivated me and helped me and i was it was really easier to talk to women and all that right so the next step right oh this, this now this is the most obvious step right you know i'm not a rocket scientist i'm not the sharpest knife in the crayon box but uh it's eating less so you want to look up your tdee -E calculator i'll have it all right all right up on the screen right look up that shit put in your age or weight how you working out i work at fucking ups right so i have a really active job put in all of that right then look up your maintenance calories then look up the calories you need to cut to get to lose like a pound to two pounds per week or even three pounds because you could you guys could do more you don't have to it's going to be like 250 to like 500 right so basically, you're going to want to see how many calories your foods are so you can basically ha know how much you have to cut out and how much you don't have to cut out. If you have doing intermittent fasting, you will really have to cut out shit and you will still lose weight. That's what, again, that's what's worked for me. I was doing that for like four months straight, bro, of figuring out new ways and new cycles to do it, right? Next step, most important step, working out and getting in, in, in the gym, bro, Okay. If you cut down and you don't have any muscle, what was the point of coming, cutting down? Because now you just look skinny all over. You didn't even work out your six pack because you thought, oh, oh, if I just cut, I'm going to just have my six pack. That's not how real life works, bro. Everything's a muscle. This is a muscle. These bad boys are your muscle. Even your neck is a muscle, bro. All right. You got to get that straight. Look up ab workouts for like 10 to 20 minutes. I'll have one on my channel actually like 
probably next week just to get y'all straight it's called insane asylum i'm gonna get y'all straight with that and then push pull leg workouts right the three perfect split so push and pull so push that's with your chest and that's with your tries all right now pull that's your back and that's your buys right and legs you're just doing legs in general so for these workouts right you want to find five to six different workouts of it right you want to have three to four sets of the workouts and eight to 12 reps of the workouts right so if you're if i see you working out right and with your in the with the weight of the workout you get you go over 12 reps that's how you know either to increase the weight or slow down the time you do the workout so if i'm not pushing like i'm going like you know real slow like right to get more of that more of that pump right basically that is how you work out basically and that's that's just gonna get you straight again before after pick that's really what's worked for me i think it's gonna work for you and want to do you good right i'm not the sharpest knife in the crayon box but i know how to get into the cabinet i don't fucking know what that means but you guys can guess all right now the next and most less important fucking thing it's being consecutive it's being con- consistent and consecutive with your workouts, right? I, I know I said that word wrong, but y- y'all get what I mean, right? It's being consistent with that shit. Every day you are on it and you're thinking about it. You're weighing yourself out. You're tracking your calories and you're thinking about it and you're getting on it and you're losing your weight and then you're getting your body that you actually want, bro. Because if you're not consistent with it, it doesn't matter. None of this shit matters. Not My channel doesn't even matter. Actually, just go home. Just go home, because there's no reason to be there if you're not going to be consistent with it and actually try, bro. Even if you can't, at least try three days a week. Even if you don't got a gym, look up some home workouts for it. Even if you don't got a house, I don't don't know. You you don't got a house, there's an outside, bro. You can work out whenever, whenever. Do what you want to do. There's YouTube, Google, Reddit. Everything is for this. There's information everywhere. You should have no excuses not to be looking sweet as fuck, bro. All right? That's the end of the video, bro. Also, one more thing. If you are skinny fat, again, if you're skinny here and you're fat here, bro, build up some muscle and bulk. I'm going to have another bulking video coming out right after this, bitch, bro. I'm telling y'all, this shit is going to get y'all straight. Because you do not need to cut. What do you need to cut? You don't got no muscle, so what the fuck you cutting? You cutting nothing but fucking... This shit, bro. Come on, now. You ain't got no muscle. There ain't nothing to cut. But yeah, that's it, bro. I love y'all. Peace. Y'all have a beautiful fucking day. God bless. I'm out.